stuff. The leak. So as you know, and I talked about this last show, I talked about the content um, and towards the, uh, about the, the leak of the Roe versus Wade uh, 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 proposed repeal, uh, the opinion by uh, uh, Judge Alito. And um, I talked to Millie about the decision itself and about what I think about the decision, about what I'd like to see in terms of abortion and, and everything like that. But, um, and towards the end, I kind of threw out a comment about the fact that the leak was truly horrific and I thought it justified uh, a little bit more. Leaking a document like this is is truly undermining of the authority of the Supreme Court, of the independence of the Supreme Court. Um, it is it is an attempt to turn everything into mob rule, democracy, people yelling at one another, people placing pressure on one another. Um, you know, the Supreme Court is is one of the last institutions. American institutions, uh, American institutions that is still functioning. I, I mean, I disagree with so many of the rulings. I disagree with the reasoning behind the rulings. I disagree with, and as I said, I'm very critical of, of the understanding of people like um, uh, like our conservatives, like, uh, uh, like um, Alito's understanding of the concept of individual rights and what it means and how to apply it. And I'm very, you know, I'm an idealist and I, and I, I want the Supreme Court to have a proper uh, objectivist understanding of individual rights and to rule accordingly. That's not going to happen. So within their understanding of, of, of the ideas, within the sc scope of what they do, it is one of the last institutions in our great republic that still functions, that still works, that is, hasn't become uh, just a mockery and hasn't become... Uh, it, it just it just uh, it filled with pressure groups and tug of war and and and, and just 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 tribalism and 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 uh, you know it, 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 even the Supreme Court has become more of that because it used to be that you some judges you couldn't tell exactly how they would rule on a particular opinion and it's become more that you can tell exactly these are the left these are the right they do this they do that and and that's unfortunate but uh, it, it, it's still a place that's intellectual it's still a place where they write opinions where they give you arguments where there's real debate they ask questions people come and present before them they ask questions they debate internally they have discussions they write drafts they edit the drafts they disagree even a majority opinion they might be Five, there might be a few different majority opinions and there might be a, a few different dissenters because uh, people are, are, are making an intellectual case for their position and they see it important to write out that intellectual case. And, and God, we live in such a anti-intellectual culture. We live in a Twitter world. And to see, I, I, I don't know if it's a 70-page or 90-page opinion, a, a essay basically written, articulating somebody's opinion about something, even if you disagree with it, you have to admire it. And whoever leaked this, may the wrath of hell be upon them. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, it truly is horrific. It undermines the institution. It, 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 it is explicitly meant to encourage pressure uh, on the institution from a variety of pressure groups. It is a way to undermine the, 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 the functioning of this great uh, institution uh, undermine its process. Uh, again, the process is what is what is good about this. Um, it you know so it's 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 truly tragic that this has happened, and I'm not sure how the court is going to respond. I hope they catch catch the the person who did this. Um, I hope I hope he gets kicked out. I hope he's shunned by the profession. Uh, but it's it, I think it's really important for them to catch him, and I think it's really important for for Roberts, the Chief Justice, to send a clear message that how inappropriate this behavior is. And, and maybe all the judges, whether they agree with the majority opinion or not, all the judges should, should voice their opinion uh, that, that, that this is unacceptable and, and that they will not allow this to have uh, problems. Um, so... Um,
I, I just wanted to, to, to be clear in expressing my disdain for this, even though it gives us something to talk about, even though it prepares us, even though, uh, you know, I'm one of the people in one of the pressure groups trying to influence the court. But, but I, I, you know, they're going to do what they do, hopefully, based on their own uh, views and, and judgment. Uh, even if it's the wrong thing, the battle for individual rights will continue. We will continue it here on the Iran Book Show. And, uh, uh, you know, wherever there are uh, people who understand what individual rights are, understand the importance of individual rights, understand how crucial it is for civilization, the battle will continue. We will not let it go. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Book Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.